And my testimony will be pertaining to the sections F8 to F12. I was born and raised in the city of Providence. And one day, after school, my friends and I decided to go visit another friend of ours on the house arrest. Um, we leave school together and we hop on bus 18 to get to Elgin Park in the West End. The house is only a block and a half away from the bus stop, and we start walking towards it. Halfway there, we see a black about a black car Victoria sitting at the uh, corner of the car. Um, and right away, one of my friends just yells, That's a cop! Why is he just chilling here? And another one of my friends said, um, Probably to watch you, don't you? For we all knew he was right. As soon as we get to the house, we settle in, we sit down, and hear not some of the then someone yelled out my friend's name and said, We know you're in here. We saw you walk in with all your friends. And my head was asking, Who's that? Who, who, how does he know my friend? Then he went to the window to check to see who it was and recognized the officer as Officer Wheeler. My friend said, He's going to try to come in here. And the officer was fiddling with the front door, telling your friend to open it and let him in. He then told the officer he couldn't let him in without his mother home, so I had to call him and tell her what happened. She comes home right away. Wheeler then tells her that her son was hanging out with a known gang member. And I'm thinking, who's a gang member? Is he really talking about us? Then he continued saying, hanging out with those gang members is a violation of the house death. She was forced to make all of us go home. And as soon as we got outside, there were three other officers and an extra squad car blocking the driveway. Willard then came back outside and said, no one is leaving yet. Everyone lined up at the wall for taking a picture. Everyone cooperated, but I knew what he was doing was wrong and against the law. I refused. Then he came up to me and told me again to get to the wall and take the damn picture. I responded, this is illegal. You can't do this to us. We're minors. He replied, fine. If you don't want to, then he's going to jail. And he pointed to my friend and I I felt trapped. I didn't want to be in the news, but I also didn't want my friend to be locked up. So I cooperated. Right after he took the picture, he told all of us to fly out. Now you all are being put in the gang database as HBC. You are all now guilty of association. I'm not in the gang, but I couldn't do anything about it. Even though, even though I knew what he was doing wrong, was wrong, I couldn't do anything. That day, I understood the power of the state. I left feeling helpless with another obstacle to keep me down. Now, I'm a gang member, and I'm only recognized as one by the police. We were being divided. We were losing in a war we never even knew we were in. Please listen.